Jembe drum originated from Mali, West Africa and traveled all over the continent. The name comes from the saying Anke J, which means everyone gather in peace. This particular drum is made with carved red wood and goat skin hide and played with bare hands. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to display or demonstrate how a djembe is made this is the skin in here this is a goat skin i'm uh, i've soaked this skin it was very dry before and it, as you can see it's uh, almost like a cloth now so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be putting it on the on the drum let's go back into the studio so that i show you how we put this skin onto the drum. Just knit it to the other side. So it's like folding it through this ring. Make sure it's tight and it doesn't move far from what we have tied. Good one. So now make sure all the circle is proper and is together. So we'll take that and place the top ring on the top and make sure that it's even. And I'll start knitting. So you come down to the next hole, go through same hole as where you have your tail and then to the next hole and you pull. We've tied all the strings right through um, and before we start pulling it we are going to untie the top so that it allows us to have the skin to pull down make it loose so that uh, when you tune or when you pull the strings which we have been knitting it's going to allow the skin to pull down now what we have done is um, we have shaved all the uh, fur that should be cut off from the drum. Before we start pulling it to the sides, which is going to be roughly around about where my fingers are, and we start to tune it, we will have to leave it like this. Probably grease it on the edge, just to make sure that, you know, the hood inside is going to liaise with the skin. Jemme drum can produce a wide variety of sound, making it one of the most versatile drums in the world. The drum is very loud, allowing it to be heard clearly as a solo instrument over a large percussion ensemble. Recordings of the djembe far beat the number of recordings for any other African drum. Beginning in the 1980s, a slew of djembe-centric recordings was released. A trend that as of 2012 shows no sign of decrease. This is significant because these recordings are driven by the demand of Western audiences.
Traditionally, the djembe is played with men only. However, here in the UK, we tend to break the status quo and let men play with women. Djembe can be used for practically anything. This includes dancing, gathering people during ceremonies, as a form of communication, entertainment, and of course, unite people from different cultures. This drum has a great cultural heritage in Africa which has inspired master drum makers now found all over the world. It has become extremely sought after in the western world and regarded as the most popular. <laughs> 